One of the cool things that I read about this new exhibit is that it will bring a lot of the oldest fossils out of research collections, private research collections into public view for the very first time. So to tell a story about our state, even during the 300 million years before dinosaurs began walking the earth, which is just wild to think about. Can you tell us more about that? Right. Well, we have some of the oldest fossils ever found in New Mexico that are going to be in the hall. And then we have a whole string of fossils to cover that whole time interval. And it's a, it's a very complicated story because you begin with different kinds of seas. You know, in New Mexico 500 million years ago, there was dry land. But as far as we know, very little lived on land back then. And so all the fossils we have were living in a shallow sea that was largely in southern New Mexico. So you get this history of different seas. The sea was in and out of New Mexico many times during the Paleozoic. Then we have the stories of what went on on land. You know, a little later, we start to get fossil plants, fossil amphibians, fossil reptiles. We even have fossil cockroaches in the exhibit. And I have to tell you, fossil cockroaches look like cockroaches. <laughs> I always say, when I see a fossil cockroach, it looks just like a cockroach on the heel of my shoe. Okay. You know, they haven't changed much. They, no, they're, they're living fossils. I mean, they're an amazing group of animals that have been around for hundreds of millions of years. So what we're doing is we're going through this whole time interval showing people the different environments, the different animals and plants that lived in them. So we go from these really oldest seas to seashores, to jungles, to deserts, to newer seashores, to giant reefs. So it's a very complicated exhibit. All of our other paleontology halls only cover like 50 or maybe 80 million years of time. This is covering, you know, 250 million and it's a very complicated 250 million. But the beauty of it is we have a large collection of fossils from this time interval. We're going to have about 300 real fossils in the hall, which is a substantial number. And they are New Mexican fossils that our visitors can see. And kind of, I want people to understand the whole long, complex history of New Mexico during this time interval, both in terms of the life forms that lived and the environments and how and why they changed. 